Thank you for watching the SMB Forex and Futures Weekly Trade Review. My name is Mark Principato. So this week we're going to do something a little bit different. Here what we have is a trade that I recorded in the euro dollar and it doesn't take into account volume analysis. Instead, this is an example where I use price action as a way to validate the trade. So just to give you some background on this trade, first of all, this is a recording of a trade that actually took place. The premise behind the trade is this. There was a larger time frame pattern unfolding. We were in a particular support zone on the larger time frame, okay? So you had a larger pattern and then there was a smaller reversal pattern occurring at the same time. So you had a pattern within a pattern. This is very important. So I already had the area where I could anticipate the long. This type of trade based on this price structure allowed me to determine that this would be a day trade, not a swing trade or a scalp. So with that being said, I knew where my target should be. I knew what type of stop I should be taking. And I knew the type of confirmation I was looking for. The confirmation occurs in this candlestick pattern that appears here. So let's watch how this unfolds because there's a few points that I want to make. So as the trade begins, first we're in this area here. You'll see how I put on the trade. You'll see the arrow appear here in a, in a moment. In the beginning, you can see we had confirmation. The confirmation comes in the form of a Harami, which is also an inside bar. And this took place on the 15-minute chart. There's the trade being put on right there. Okay, you can see it starts out obviously in the red because of the spread. There's the stop, all right, which uh, was about 20 pips, a little over 20 pips. And you can see the larger structure. Now, what happens here is the trade actually goes against me a little bit and it never stopped out, all right? It never stopped out. Now, this trade was taken at 12.30 in the afternoon. Not the best time to normally take Forex trades, but the setup was there and it was a pattern within a pattern. So I figured, hey, you know what? This is worthwhile. So as you could see here, this is the initial target based on price structure. Initial target meaning that's a likely place to get out of some if there is some price action confirmation up in that area to get out. Now, as you see this trade unfold, all right, and this is where the, the speeding up process comes in because, again, this took a while. These are 15-minute bars, so this took a number of hours to unfold. It's important to understand that. You can see how the price progresses upward after not getting stopped out. Now, it's slow, requires a ton of patience, but you just have to sit there and wait. This is where the momentum really kicks in. You can see it blows through that initial target area. Now, I did not choose to exit any right there. And the reason was I never had any confirmation. That candle went straight through. And I'm waiting for the 15-minute close. So now we're attempting to push this previous swing high, which would be the next area to consider. Now, once it starts to give me a hard time, that's where I look to unload some of the position. And you will see that as well. A good habit to get into is to unload some, just like I did right there, unload some on highs like that. Even though there wasn't exactly a reason to get out, it was hesitating a bit. There was no confirmation, there was no validation, but I locked in 36 pips just because we were on a high and we had that reference pivot. Now as time went on here, you can see it pulled back, all right? And I actually added some, you can see by that, this red arrow here, that was another add. I put on another lot there. That was after selling some here, taking a profit, pulled back, added some. Now, as this trade went further, there was a chance to get out, all right? You can see there was um, consolidation afterwards here. And it didn't really go much further as the hours went on. I mean, this went into the evening, this type of trade, because remember, these are 15-minute bars. First of all, when you have a pattern within a pattern and everything is lining up, it's worth taking the risk, especially if it's on the side of the bigger picture, as this trade was. The bigger picture was bullish. These smaller pictures were not exactly bullish, but you need to have that perspective 
of the bigger picture and you must incorporate that into the trade. Secondly, the validation came in. So if everything was there, everything is lined up, it's worth taking a shot. Now, when you have a nice sharp move in a very short period of time, in this case, in a ba basically in about an hour, it's definitely worth it to lock some profit in. Not the whole position, but maybe you take off half or something along those lines. As you see, the trade took a number of hours to continue here, and it didn't really make much progress further. I added some, and I could tell you I didn't record the final outcome of this thing, but basically I broke even on that, that ad, and I broke even on that second part of my position. So I locked in some profit with the 36 pips, and after that, it really didn't go anywhere after that. Okay, it just sort of kind of pulled back and got noisy. Eventually it went higher, but the noise knocked me out because there was a sharper pullback in here during the overnight, during the uh, Euro session, which is not part of this recording. So again, lessons you can learn are pattern within a pattern, take some profit when you're on highs, never hurts to do that, you know, when you're bullish, and you need to have the patience to let the trade unfold. Now it takes time, and it's not easy to sit through all this, especially if you're watching smaller time frames. So make sure when you're trading, that you always consider your larger time frame perspective. So that's pretty much it on this trade. Keep in mind that you don't always need volume analysis to validate a trade. And I hope you're able to get that knowledge from this example. All right, so I wanna thank you for watching this. My name is Mark Principato. This has been a SMB Forex and Futures weekly trade review. I will see you next week.